What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we are here with Germa Double Six videos. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, Germa Double Six versing the Garp challenges and over the coming days I'll hopefully have a showcase video up for this character as well. But um, in today's video we're going to be building a, a kind of a different obscure team that we're going to be using uh, this time around because we have double Germa Double Six but the thing is, is our Gemma Double Six is going to be a crewmate instead of a captain. And for those of you who don't really understand how this character works, they actually get a benefit if they're a crew member on your team because when you launch their special, it swaps them out for the captain for two turns. And in their captain effect, it says that when they become the captain in the middle of a quest, they become super effective against all types. So on the final boss fight of each of these Garp challenges, having the ability to be super effective against all the bosses is quite ridiculous now in terms of the other crewmates that we have here we've got legend chopper with the necro support which is very useful we've got summer robin with bato support also very useful having luffy and sanji is very nice for having recovery slot generation every single turn but also having the pudding support meaning on the nl stage we can get rid of the stun debuff is very very vital for this team to work and then as for our main captain because Gemma double six is not our captain this time around i'm running shank screw because it means that we can enter the final stage against nl and we don't have to worry about the special bind that gets inflicted to us it's very very useful um, then we also have access to the brand new Capone ship which gives us a pretty good attack boost to our strength Psy and int characters um, so that's the main reason why we're running that ship and you know we can't really use the uh, the ex Drake ship because when Gemma becomes the captain they're not one of the three classes that you need for that ship technically speaking yeah you can still use it if you want to because we're only having Gemma as our captain for the final boss fight but realistically, just for the synergy of the team, I felt like this was probably a more appropriate ship. But either way, let's go ahead and start breaking down this team as it goes through all four of the Garp challenges against Heavenly Demon, Revolutionary Army, Whitebeard, and NL. Alright, so jumping into this, the first one, of course, is going to be against Doflamingo. Each of these clips are going to be in sequential order, so if you guys want to skip to a certain Garp challenge, you can go ahead and click the timeline of the video, or there's going to be timestamps as well down in the video description. So with building this team, you know, I definitely wanted to use Germa as a friend captain and also as a sub just to show you guys how this works. Um, Germa even just as a friend captain is actually quite good because as soon as you get a Psy slot or a tandem slot on your Psy character, they get a five times boost. And I mean, especially if you're getting a 1.5 times attack boost with Shanks crew switch effect every single turn as well, like it just adds so much to the team and the amount of damage you're able to produce is pretty impressive man so uh, i really do enjoy utilizing germa even as a friend captain even if even though you, you know you don't get the super effective against all types they've still got a really good special right um but focusing specifically about the dofi challenge this is definitely the most difficult of these teams uh, well, of these uh, islands for this team to complete um just because of the debuffs right because of the paralysis and the despair it's just super duper annoying um because you know another thing as well is that, like this chopper has a really high cooldown right he's got a cooldown have like 14 or something which is pretty high um so i do actually want to make sure that i don't have to use his special um and i can kind of like save it for later i do use the summer robin special which is pretty good um and you do see here that i probably should have kept the summer robin special for this stage so i could have removed the defense on turn one um you know when i was planning out the team i was originally going to do that but then i i kind of thought that this run was over at this point and i was going to reset but i thought you know let's just see what happens if i launch the germa special here because I, I said to myself that i'm pretty sure i didn't need it and uh you know overall it just ended up working out you know even though i didn't need to use the chopper special so i didn't have to stall for his special again which is quite nice um uh, because the, another good thing as well is that if you launch like a special that lasts for two turns on the Rebecca stage when you move on to stage four here against uh, all these Dressrosa characters with uh, like really really weird cooldowns the good thing about it is is that stage doesn't have any preemptive attack so any boost that lasts for two turns you'll actually carry it into this room as well so that's actually quite nice to be able to do that um, and also when you when you launch the German special it is kind of nice you have access to their super type which allows you to lock your slots so you can keep it for multiple rooms as well as um, giving you a 1.25 ch times chain multiple fly boost so the amount of damage you actually can just get from their special plus their super type is quite good um the only thing as well 
is that Shanks Crew's special ability does not really synergize well with their super type because obviously Shanks Crew is a 3.5 chain locker, whereas uh, the Germa are a 1.25 times chain multiplier booster. So obviously those two effects don't stack really well together, but Shanks Crew is such a phenomenal captain, and you know the 3.5 chain lock is more than enough in a lot of cases for that just to be like that's all you really need, right? Um, and plus, obviously, Shanks Crew's dual captain effect is quite good. And a really good thing as well is that like we can launch Shanks Crew a little earlier, and like even though you know, we might not even have their chain lock for our burst turn, it doesn't really matter. And, you know, obviously, they won't have their dual captain for that long. And once they get out of their dual captain, we can just launch the Germa special to switch into the captain spot instead, which will give us a much better boost. Um, and that's all we really need. Like, it's actually really, really awesome the way they're able to synergize with this team. And, you know, on the final boss stage, we, we take the first turn of attacks just to clear out some of the mob characters. I mean, technically speaking, you could run a different kind of team with, like, a Roger friend captain and use a Roger special here instead. That could also kind of work because you know roger special would just kill everyone um and then you could just launch the germa special you know with roger plus germa special dude that is some serious damage output that you'll get from that and luffy and sanji were definitely a welcome addition to the team obviously having the support of pudding was the main reason why i wanted to run them in the first place i was just looking at any particular sanji unit that i could use and you know obviously luffy and sanji being the best sanji unit in the game i would say at least on global at this point having access to that pudding support was obviously quite good and that switch effect to generate recovery slots was quite nice for any type of situation where I felt like I was a little bit, um, a little bit, you know, threatened in terms of my health being a little too low. Generating recovery slots was very, very useful. And here's the amazing special animation of the Gemma Double Six. You know, we're spoiled these days on Japan with some of the characters that, they have, that they've been releasing, and some of those animations are crazy, crazy good. Um, still, Gemma, I think, holds up because it's such an awesome looking special ability. But I'll leave you guys with the rest of this clip, and I'll see you guys on the Revolutionary Army. The Revolutionary Army challenge was actually pretty easy with the Germa Double Six. Now, the main thing that we have to take into consideration here is on stage three, yeah, stage three against Robin, is where our captains will be binded for five turns. So we have the support of Neko attached to Chopper, which means any time we're inflicted with bind or attack down, he removes it by two. So that's actually going to be quite good in uh, the White Beard Challenge, which is after this one. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit more once we get to it. Um, but the fact that we can just remove the first turn of bind anytime we're inflicted with it, which is pretty good. And then we do get inflicted with bind once again, which is against the Karasu and Lindbergh stage. Now, the good thing about this is, is that the Karasu and Lindbergh stage, they're both on a two turn cooldown. So the fact that, you know, our right side of the team is going to be binded for two turns doesn't make that big of a difference because we have the switch effect of Sanji and Luffy to remove at least one turn of that. So as long as we're switching into a character on, you know, our burst turn, we can use their special ability to get rid of those block orbs that they give us. And, you know, it's pretty much GG from there. And another really good reason as well is why Shanks crew is a, such a good addition to this team is that, you know, obviously their switch effect giving you a 1.5 attack boost as well as generating some matching slots, meaning that at least two of our characters are going to be getting that five times boost from the uh, from the Germa double six captain effect. You know, with a 1.5 attack boost in those matching slots, that's kind of like all we need in a lot of situations on these boss stages just to clear them. The amount of damage that we get is just nuts. You know, comparing, you know, this island for when it first came out to where we are now, it's crazy how strong some of the characters... You know, that they've been releasing just are. They're just way too strong compared to some of the ones that were releasing, obviously, back then. So a lot of these challenges are definitely getting a lot easier with some of the more powerful captains that we have access to these days, which is quite good. And even ships as well. Ships have been getting a lot, lot better too. And, you know, this ship in particular doesn't really shine that much because there aren't too many instances where we're going to be, like, at 100% full health. But, you know, having Luffy Sanji's special ability active whenever we need it in order to not only give us an attack boost and a full board of slots, but it also d does give us a really good amount of healing and in a pretty i'm pretty sure every situation we use their special we are going to be overhealed which means that the ship will be a 1.7 times ship instead which is obviously amazingly good to have and of course this stage here with mole and bello betty does not matter that much at all because we have a pretty substantial amount of health right now and because we have uh, obviously a lot of type advantage against mole it's uh, it's basically a piece of cake getting through him so no problems there whatsoever 
And of course, on the final stage as well, um, that, that final stage is not going to be that big of an issue. Even though, you know, we get a health cut, we get burnt, it doesn't really matter because we're using Luffy Sanji special on the stage prior, which means that we have a lot of HP to play with. And as I said, you know, in a lot of cases when we launch their special, we are going to be overhealed. So even though they health cut us and they inflict burn on us, even if we hit all of our perfects, which we don't even need to hit all of our perfects, but even if we did, we're not going to die from the burn anyways. So that's obviously a really big benefit. And of course, because the switch effect of, um, well, not the, really the switch effect, but the ability to switch into the captain from the German double six unit lasts for two turns when you launch their special on stage two um, it means that after we kill the revolutionary armies and they revive uh, we can just go ahead and attack again with the orb boost that is still active and also being super effective against all types still so really really cool you know I, I, I definitely can see a lot of situations where this German unit is going to be useful in the future and because of how powerful some of the side teams that we have right now I mean like this unit is kind of like a win more type of unit because I don't really think you know Psy units or Psy teams in particular are, are really that bad because I think they're probably the best typing in the game but having access to a unit that can just become super effective against all types as well as having an amazing captain effect on top of that and they're also their crew's own orb booster and they can give you a chain boost as well I mean it just makes the side color just even more crazier than what it already is but I'll leave you guys with this clip and we'll pick things up at the white beard challenge So now we move on to the white bid challenge. Um, this one was actually pretty easy once again, but um, speaking about the support effect of Chopper, right? So, so the main reason why we're running Neko is for a couple reasons. Uh, with the Revolutionary Army, we had it to remove some of that bind that was going to be inflicted to us, and it's actually really good against NL as well. But it's really good here too. So we get inflicted with the three turns of attack down, and with Neko, it becomes a one turn attack down. Now, uh, this is really good because we can just stall one turn, and then we can kill this guy instead of having to use a Chopper special to remove that attack down. I did mention a little bit earlier, but Chopper's special cooldown is really high. It's like 14 turns, right? And stalling that amount of time on a guard challenge is not something that I really wanted to, 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 to really do at all. So what I did was I just stalled one turn, then I killed him. Now, even though we do kill him, we do get, um, you know, a lot of special reverse, which does kind of suck. But as I also did mention a little earlier, um, the switch effect of the Shanks crew unit giving us the attack boost and matching slots. In a lot of cases, that's all we need in order to clear the bosses, which is really useful. The rest of the white bid challenge is actually pretty simple, of course. We've got Robin to remove the defensive effects on the Jozu stage. And then for the Marco and the Vista stage, we're using the Chopper special to get rid of the attack down. We still have the support of Bato attached to Robin to remove the paralysis. Now, I do have Markino support attached to the Shanks crew unit, which will actually go ahead and remove the chain lock that we get inflicted. However, looking at this, honestly, you probably don't even need the Markino support. So don't be too disheartened if you don't have that unit. You probably don't even need it so you know you, you can definitely get your way through it without it don't don't say like oh i don't have that one support unit so i can't beat it no definitely you can get through it without mark you know you definitely don't need her but um it's definitely nice to have her so that you can get even more damage output on the mark and vista stage and then on the final stage you just launch all your specials and it's gg like it's pretty awesome so anyways i'll leave you guys with the rest of the white beard challenge clip and i'll see you guys on the final clip of the video which is against the gart challenge versus nl
So now we make it to the final clip of the video, which is versus the NL Garp challenge. And this again is also a pretty easy piece of content for this specific team. And obviously the the, the core cool things you need against NL, right? You need you definitely need a unit that can get rid of the um, the fear debuff or just resisting special bind in general, and then also having a way to get rid of the stun debuff. So there are a couple of units that you can use, you know, like Stampede Buggy, Treasure Map, Nami, Sanji, um, and then for units to get rid of like the stun debuff, you know, Marco and Ace is a really solid unit as long as you have a way to get around that special bind, of course. But in this team, so there's a couple of different things going on, and I'm sure most of you people out there who have played the NL Challenge will understand how this team is working. We've got Shanks Crusade as our captain. So that means that when we reach the final stage, the special bind that would be inflicted on our crew members members and just our whole, our whole team in general is resisted and then we have the pudding support attached to Luffy Sanji so that when we reach the final stage our health is reduced by 20% ultimately doing damage to ourselves will remove the stun debuff so it's very useful to have that and with all of our specials ready to go and there's no stun available we can launch all of our specials and take down NL without any problems um, I think on the final stage all I have is the Shanks crew 3.5 chain lock active from the previous turn and I think I also just used the Gemma double six special and that's all I need you know having the 3.5 chain lock uh, the five times captain and then also the 2.25 times orb boost that's all you really need in order to get through the NL challenge on the final stage which is really really cool so that is going to wrap up this video today I really hope you guys enjoyed this one of me using Gemma double six the brand new Sugo rare character to take on all four of the GARP challenges without even changing a single unit on the team, which is pretty exceptional. I'll be having videos over the next couple of days and throughout next week where I will aim to beat all four of the GARP challenges with one team without taking any units out of it. I think it's going to be a little bit tricky, at least for some of the colors at least. Um, I already have the Int and the Psy ones fully complete. Um, I will be doing a different Psy team that does not have the exact same units this time around, but it still is somewhat similar, but it's not going to be the exact same team. And then I have a couple of ideas in mind for Strength X and Quick, but I'll have to give them a go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. It was a bunch of fun using Jumbo Double Six, and I'll hopefully get a full-on showcase out for them within the next couple of days as well. So stay tuned to the channel for that. If you guys want to stay tuned and stay up to date with all the One Piece Treasure Cruise content I post, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like as well. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.